What's up guys, Super Charles iOS here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to continue using Mashup by using a patched version of Mashup, which will prevent it from updating and being removed from your system. Now, this fix will work for a limited time. I'm not sure exactly how long it's gonna work because the developer has retired, as I'm sure a lot of you have heard. So there's not gonna be any more updates to the plugin whatsoever. So when stuff breaks and when everything goes down, it'll be gone for good. All right, so the first thing you need to do is remove the mashup video add-on and the mash repo. So go to system settings, add-ons, enable the add-ons, scroll down to video add-ons, select that, and then scroll down to you find mashup, click on it, and then click on uninstall, click on yes, and now that you've uninstalled the add-on, go back one step and go into get add-ons and scroll down and locate the all add-ons by MASH repo. Now I'm just using Anarchintosh as a demonstration of how you need to remove it, but you need to remove the one that's named all add-ons by MASH. Click on that one and then click on add-on repository. And once you click on that, click on the all add-ons by MASH repo and then click on uninstall just like I'm doing right here on the screen and click on yes. And once you finish uninstalling the all add-ons by MASH repo as well as the mashup add-on, go all the way back to the home screen and restart XBMC. Now go to techsmartdeals.com forward slash download, link will be in the description below and download the patched version of Mashup and it'll be a zip file. You need to save it to the desktop of your computer or either save it to a location on your system that you'll easily be able to locate. And once you've got it downloaded and saved, go to system settings, add-ons, install from zip and go to the location that you saved the zip file. Just click on desktop, navigate to the patched version of Mashup that you just downloaded, click on it, and in a couple seconds you'll see Mashup add-on enabled just like that on the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Once you see that, you pretty much did everything you need to do. Now just go all the way back to the home screen and restart XBMC one more time. And once XBMC restarts, now let's go into the video add-on section and locate the mashup add-on and launch it. And you might need to restart it a few times. It's been working great for me so far though. I've even been able to add these extra categories, which give you a lot of extra content, live TV, stuff like that. All the other extra categories, if you want to add them also, just click on mashup settings. Then go to home layout and scroll down and just click on each category put the blue dot next to each one just scroll down and skip over the number and just put a blue dot next to each one of these this will put all the extra categories with the live streams and stuff like that <laughs> And if you want to go over to the general section real quick and enable the metadata for your TV shows as well as movies, be sure to click on OK after so that you apply all your settings and configurations. And you might want to restart Mashup a few times. I had to restart it about three times to get it to work perfectly, but it's been working for me perfectly ever since. And as you can see, categories load up with no problem. So let's go ahead and click on one. And as you can see, these are some sources and they're very familiar looking sources. So I'm sure these start right up. All right, this is Supercharged iOS. This is a quick video showing you guys how to continue to use Mashup by using a patched version of Mashup. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hope it was pretty useful. If you did, please do me a big favor and click that like button. Also remember to like and follow at Charged iOS on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.